guys welcome back to my channel so today we are sitting down and we are doing a palette bingo we're choosing one of the spring palettes that i talked about in my recent best palettes for spring video plus this video is extra special because it's in collaboration with my girl kelly from k bella beauty i'll talk about her a little bit more in just a second but before we get started don't forget to upload every tuesday thursday saturday and sunday for you guys if you like this video while you're watching it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and other than that if you're excited and you want to see a palette bingo then let's go ahead and get started so kelly reached out to me recently with this video idea and asked if i wanted to collab on it and then i said yes pretty much immediately what we're going to do is we both recently put up our best palettes for spring video she picked 10 and i think i have eight so we talked about the palettes that we are going to be looking for to using in the next couple of months during the spring months they're really nice like springy sort of color stories and we're gonna do a palette bingo so we're gonna let a random number generator pick the palette and then we're gonna let the random number generator also pick the five shades we are going to be using for our look I'm a little nervous because some of these palettes that I have to choose from are very, very colorful. And if I get a bunch of random colors, I'm going to, we just, we might, we might be stepping outside of our comfort zone today, which is the whole point of palette bingo. So I'm actually excited. But before we actually get started, Kelly, you guys, I've collaborated with her before, but if you do not know her, her channel is called K-Bella Beauty. She is genuinely such a sweetheart. She lives in Texas, but I know if we lived closer, we would be friends in real life and we would actually hang out and probably go makeup shopping and just go get Starbucks together. She is a teacher down in Texas, which she just has that like wholesome vibe that like elementary school teachers give off. You just know she's a really loving person. Plus her content is just really fun to watch. She does a lot of Will I Buy It's talking about the new makeup releases each week. So if you want to keep up on all the new makeup releases, definitely check out those videos from her. She also does like ranking videos. She tries some new makeup. What I like about Kelly and her content is she doesn't just go wild and purchase everything new. She is really careful and strategic about what she picks up and puts in her collection so she has a little bit more controlled of a collection than myself which I actually really enjoy I know that when she purchases something and tries it it's because she's genuinely interested in it and you know you're going to get like the most honest review from her and also that's another thing I want to point out she is super honest I can definitely tell when she does a review she really is trying to just help you out she just gets her honest opinion and you know that you can like take that seriously you know what i mean i definitely recommend you checking out kelly and her channel i'm going to have her channel her palette bingo video and her best spring palettes video all linked down below for you to check out she's just lovely i'm really glad that she asked me to collaborate with her i will always collaborate with you kelly <laughs> If you are coming over from Kelly's channel, hello, my name is Emily. So nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video and checking me out. I talk really quickly over here. I try a bunch of new makeup releases. I do one week one palettes where I pick a palette and do five looks with that palette. I feel like I'm a little biased because it's my channel, but I feel like we have some fun over here and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for a while. I'm going to go ahead and have my best palettes for spring video linked up in the eye and down below in case you missed it so you can see a little bit more detail about all of these palettes I'm going to be choosing from. You can see the color story a little bit more, what I love about them, all of the above. Since I'm only going to be using maybe possibly one, I'll get into that in a second in this video. So I have all of them listed right here for you guys. I ended up having eight because I talked about three ColourPop quads together, but they're only quads and Kelly and I are picking five different shades from the palette to use. So I'm just going to lump them together and make them like a nine pan palette and choose five from those nine pans, if that makes any sense. And then the other ones have enough for me to choose from. So we have the Gimme Glow Pastel Dreams, the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palettes, then Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, all three of those ColourPop quads, the Asa You Baby on the Mango Strawberry Sweet. Then we have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie 2 palette, the Huda Beauty Nude Light, the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast, and then last but not least, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 to palette. So we have all of those to choose from and there's a couple that I'm like hoping the number generator gives me because I either haven't used them yet or I'm just excited to use them again. So normally I have my husband's phone to hold up and it's nice and small and compact and I can do the number generator on his phone because I film on my phone. If you are checking me out for the first time, I film on my iPhone 13 Pro. So I don't have like a phone to hold up because my husband's at work right now. So we just have my Mac. So we got this big old bulky Mac that I'm going to um, hold up and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you the number generator or not. I think you're just gonna have to uh, trust me, I think, cause like this is kind of big and bulky to hold up. So I think you're just gonna have to trust me, I'm so sorry. So I'm pulling up a random number generator on Google. So my minimum is one and my maximum is going to be eight because 
that is how many pallets I have. All right, let's generate. Oh, let's generate. Four. Oh, it's the ColourPop quads. Oh, okay. All right, let me grab them for you. So we have the three quads right here. This is Asa You Baby with like purplies. This is On the Mango with like really orangey sort of tones. And then this one is Strawberry Sweet with bright pink. I really like these. I've tried both of these and they are absolutely beautiful. I haven't tried this one yet, so I am excited to use that. Um, this is not what I wanted. This is not the one that I wanted the number generator to pick, but that is okay. We are going to go with it. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to line them up. I just have it written down and I mentioned in my spring video, this one first and then the On the Mango second and then the Strawberry Sweet third. So I'm just gonna do like one, two, three, four and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, if that makes sense. So we can find our um, five shades we're going to be using. I don't know if I explained that yet. We're going to do a number generator of five random shades and we are only allowed to use those five shades. We can't incorporate any other shades. It's only those five. All right, so on my desk here, we've got all three of them laid out so I can do the number generator and swatch what of the five shades I'm going to be using. So now let's do our minimum of one and our maximum of nine. I totally messed that up earlier. <laughs> that they had nine pants they definitely have 12 they are quads Emily they've got four four times three is 12 for some reason I thought they had three shades and then three times three would be nine um so we're gonna do a minimum of one and a maximum of 12 almost messed that up <laughs> all right so let's generate the first shade we're going to be using six so we've got one two three four five six which is going to be this matte shade right here from on the mango I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this so I can remember what shades we are using all right, all right. I actually really love this shade. I used it before and it's a beautiful shade. Let's generate our next one. Generate, we've got four, one, two, three, four. And this one is going to be this matte purple right here from Asai You Baby. So let's do a swatch of that. Ooh, okay, all right. Those two shades are interesting, but I feel like they're gonna be pretty together. Generate again, six. Oh, we already, we already got six ones. Okay, so I'm gonna generate again for our third shade. Two. All right, so two is this one right here. This really pretty, like shimmery purple shade. Let's do a swatch. All right, all right. Are we even gonna use Strawberry Sweet? I don't know, let's see. Nine, we are. Okay, so nine is gonna be right here. This light pink shade from Strawberry Sweet. Okay, ooh, that's not, that's not a bad color story right there. All right, let's get our last shade. And we've got one. All righty, and one is going to be this light pinky purpley shade from the Asai You Baby, which is going to be really similar, yeah, to this shade. Huh. All right. Well, those are our five shades we are working with. We are pulling from all three of the quads. I'm actually glad about that. I'm glad that all three of them are going to be incorporated in this look. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I got pretty lucky. This is a really like monochromatic cohesive story. And then we have like a pop of that orange, which could be really pretty. This is not going to get me as much out of my comfort zone as I thought it was going to, I got pretty lucky. The number generator was generous to me today. <laughs> All right, so off camera, I went ahead and primed my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And we are going to start off with this matte shade from the On the Mango shade, and we're gonna put that into our crease. I remember last time I used this shade, it being very, very beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to build it up two layers to get the pigmentation I want. Yeah, it's giving me like a really light wash of orange, which is very beautiful, but I like more poppy and punchy eyeshadows. If you are coming over from Kelly's channel, then you obviously probably watch her and you know that she is more into neutral shades. She does a lot of everyday looks. Her looks are stunning and beautiful, but they're a little bit more on the wearable side than me. I do love a good neutral wearable look, don't get me wrong, but I also really, really love color. I know Kelly dabbles into color every once in a while and trust me, I love when she does. Anytime I see a colorful look on her YouTube videos, I'm like, yes, girl, yes, I love it. I think she looks beautiful in color. She looks beautiful in neutrals too, don't get me wrong, but I just love colorful eyeshadows, so I love when other people, you know, step outside of their comfort zone and try something new. And I really, really do like colorful eyeshadow. I just think it's so beautiful and fun. You can create any look that you want, any eye shape. I just, I mean, I love makeup in general, but I really, really love colorful eyeshadow. Trying new things, getting out of my comfort zone. So yeah. Ooh, yeah, this shade is 
beautiful. I love it. All right, so now that we have that all buffed and blended in and it's looking very pretty, if I do say so myself, we're going to go into that dark matte purple shade from the Acai You Berry. No, Acai You Baby. <laughs> and we're gonna start patting this on the outer corner of the eye. And we're going to put it up into the crease as well. I have not tried this quad. I, like I said, I tried the other two. So this is gonna be my first impressions on this uh, purple, I almost said blue, on this purple quad. I know purples can be pretty hard to formulate. So we'll see how this goes. Oof, but it's looking pretty good. It's nice and pigmented. It's not getting like patchy or anything. We'll fix that outer corner, don't. I know it looks kind of like wild and crazy right now. We'll fix it with concealer, but oof, that's looking good. And they're blending together nicely. I was a little afraid how this bright orange and the purple would mesh together in my crease, but it's looking good. Also, if you see skipping here, that is totally normal for me and my eyes. My eyes always skip. Eyeshadow always gets patchy on me. So I'm used to that patching and all of that on my eyes. But again, if you're new and you're like, oh, that doesn't look right, Emily. It's okay. I always end up fixing it. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more dome shaped of a brush. This is a Refer 12 just to reemphasize this uh, crease area here. And we are going to go back and blend it a little bit more after this, but I need a little bit more precise of a brush to get that crease. Yeah, because I want to be able to see it when my eyes are open. And then I like barely dip my brush back into that orange. And we're going to go really light pressure to blend this out. It's looking kind of harsh. And we don't like harsh lines on this channel. I know Kelly is a blender as well, which I totally understand. Anytime she's like, I just like to blend my eyeshadow for so long. I'm like, yes, girl, yes. I get it. You don't want it to have harsh lines. Also, I don't want to lose that orange shade like peeking out of the top. I think that that's a really, really pretty together, these two shades. I'm gonna go in and fix that little bit of patching here. This is a Jaclyn Cosmetics JH37 brush. I went to go repurchase this recently because this is just getting old and I kind of would like a new fresh one. And I didn't see it on Ulta's website and I'm like, oh, <laughs> hopefully they didn't get rid of it because I would love to buy a new one. Alrighty, so next up, I think we're going to go in with this shimmer from the Asa You Baby palette and then top it on top with this shimmer from the Strawberry Sweet. And then we'll probably end up using this one as an inner corner highlight. I am going to go in with NYX Glitter Primer first. I cannot make an eye look and use a shimmer without this stuff right here. It is the best. So we're just going to put it on the inner portion of my eyelid where there's no eyeshadow. And we're going to take this shimmer shade, the darker one. And we're going to pat that on. Maybe not put it all the way on the inner corner. Well, uh, yeah, I am. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put the other one over top anyway. So, ooh. Okay. And then we're going to take this shimmer from the Strawberry Sweet palette, just like a really pretty light pink. And we're just going to tap this one on top just to make our own little shimmer shade concoction. Why not? That is looking good. I am going to add a little bit more of that deeper shimmer right here just to deepen that up a little bit. Alrighty, other eye, first with that purple shimmer. I'm actually really impressed by this Acai You Baby um, palette. I'm gonna end up using three of the four shades. The number generator was like, girlfriend, you've never used this palette before? Well, let me help you out. And you're gonna use three of the four. <laughs> and three of your five shades are gonna come from it. <laughs> We're gonna then top it with that pink one again. Which I'm not mad about. At first I was a little bummed that the number generator picked the ColourPop quads. But I don't know. I'm really liking this look so far. So we're going to add a little bit more of that matte purple here. And on the outer corner. And that orange again. Alrighty. I am really liking this look. I am. Is it bright and bold for sure? And if you were at home and you're looking at this and you're like, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that look. If you just took away this orange at the top and you just kept it these like purpley pinky tones, it would be a lot more wearable, quote unquote, and it would be like color in a really soft, pretty way. So yeah, if you ever wanted to like recreate this look with a palette you own that are similar tones or you own these quads, they are available at Ulta. You could definitely make it more wearable and less like bright and bold if you took away that orange. But A, I had to use the orange because it was one of my shades and B, I actually like it. I think it's really, really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, like base, all of that. And then we're going to come on and do the lower lash line and use that last shade as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then we're going to wrap this video up. So be right back. 
Alrighty, we are back for lower lash line and inner corner and brow bone highlight. So to start off for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this dark uh, purpley shade. And we're going to take a flat definer brush and we're just going to lightly tap some of that purple right here. I'm not going all the way over. I have to be really careful about my lower lash line because my eyes are kind of small. So I don't like to do anything too intense. And if I take something like all the way in, I want it to be a, like a little uh, lighter of a shade. When you got small eyes, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna close them off and make them even smaller. <laughs> then we're going to take that orangey shade and we're gonna buff this purple out. I don't want to lose the purple, but I also want to buff it out, make it less harsh and incorporate that orange on the lower lash line as well. Same thing on the other eye. Then we're gonna take our fifth and final shade that we haven't used yet, which was this one right here in the Asai You Baby. And we're gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I like to use ColourPop Flexitarian uh, Super Shock Highlight as my inner corner highlight. So normally my highlights are a little bit brighter than this, uh, but I like that like pink sort of purpley shift that this gives that. I think that's really pretty. We are going to use this as my brow bone highlight too. Add a little sparkle up there. Alrighty, and then usually after I add my brow bone highlight, I just go back in with that first like blending brush we used and just softly go over it one more time just to blend that highlight, the shade, all of it together. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit more orange to this one. I feel like we lost, lost the orange a little tiny bit. Alrighty, I like that. I really, really like this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lips and come back on and really show you like the fully completed look. And here is the final look for you guys. I really, really like how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. It's bright and colorful, but still pretty wearable at the same time. I'm trying to debate if I would feel comfortable going to work in this look. I work as a bank teller. I don't know. Maybe yes. I went to work with like a bright green look on a couple weeks ago though. So like maybe I would, but I am like loving this. I would totally wear this out to dinner or to hang out with friends or anything like that. Like I am really, really loving how this looks. I love that pop of orange with the purple. Oh, so good. The rest of my makeup, if you are curious about anything I'm wearing, I will have it all listed and linked down below for you guys. If you are curious, they are affiliate links if you shop through them. And thank you so much. I do get a little bit of a kickback, but the highlights really quickly. My blush is my Essence The Blush in the shade Beloved. I thought it was like a really bright pink, pretty shade. And then for my lips, I have on my Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade 01 The Nudist all over my lips. And then I topped it with my ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil oil in the shade hay to give like a little bit of like a purpley hint to it but this was so much fun I feel like I should do palette bingos more often they do get out of your comfort zone like I would probably have never thought to pair these three quads together in this way had it not been for this video so I had a ton of fun creating it let me know what you think of the look down below did you enjoy watching this thank you so much to Kelly for asking me to collaborate on this video definitely make sure you check out her channel her videos all of the above I highly recommend her she's such a sweetheart I think if you like me and my content you would love her and her content as well if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much you're awesome and I love you please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys